What is up YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Surfer SEO Content Editor to write SEO optimized articles that read well and rank high. With Surfer SEO you can create structured articles that have relevant keywords and receive real-time feedback with their content score. So in this video I'll break it down. So without further ado, let's get started. I went ahead and signed into Surfer SEO and clicked on the content editor. They have other tools, but in this video, I'm just gonna be covering the content editor. So once you click on it, it brings you here, and you're gonna go ahead and put your keyword. I have other videos where I showed how I, I create, or I come up with my keywords. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for that video. But for here, I went ahead and used uh, this keyword here, which is lean bulk meal prep. So I wanna, I wanna write an article related to lean bulk meal prep. So once you go ahead and put that keyword here, you can generate a content editor for uh, for that keyword. And once you do that, it brings you into uh, this next page here where you're going to create an actual uh, outline first. So I'll go ahead and cover the, the right side here first. But they actually uh, recently updated the outline where you can actually just hit one button, which I'll do that in a minute. But I just want to go ahead and cover this uh, the guidelines here. So on the top right here, uh, what Surfer did was it pulled, I'm going to go ahead and hit this button here, customize. It went ahead and pulled all the top ranking uh, articles for that keyword that are more relevant. So what I like to do is first thing is open this up and then open up the actual articles uh, that are on here. So you kind of could kind of look through them. So this one here, uh, Surfer SEO said it was not that relevant. So you can actually look at it, but just looking at the titles, you can see that they don't have the main keyword that I'm, I'm writing about. So I'll leave those out. So right here, these are the ones that are highlighted are the ones that it chose. So I do like the ones that were chosen, but I'll go ahead and open like this one here and I'll open up uh, this one and this one. So the first thing when you're going to start writing, you want to kind of see what type of article it is. If it's a informative article, how to. So this one here is more of a how to. This is not a commercial article where it's the best of or um, so you kind of see that it's just basically uh, writing. All right. So I'm going to go back here and everything here looks good. And because of those articles that were chosen, the content structure is any the, the the word amount the word count is going to be anywhere from 2000 to 2300 you can actually change these if, if you want but it's recommended that you keep them uh, the way they have them so you have headings here it wants 26 to 25 paragraphs it wants uh, 62 paragraphs and 9 to 18 images so these are the actual related keywords or related words that it would like to use in the actual article um, these are the terms to use. So as we write, we'll make sure that these get added. And then if you actually go down a little more, these are uh, topics and questions to add. So they have all of them here. They have the people also asked, they have the competitors and the ones that server has chosen. So right here we have uh, the ones that are highlighted. What do you eat in a lean bulk? So for sure that's gonna be added to, the, to one of the headings. And then right here at the bottom, you could actually add notes because um, you can actually share uh, this um, content editor here with a teammate. If you if you have somebody else that's writing it, you can uh, just share it for them to to write the actual article. So once we have all that ready, we're gonna hit, gonna go ahead and hit let go. Let's go. All right. So then right here, as you can see, it has the content score. It has content structure. And then these are the words. So as we use them, they'll turn green and it will show that they're, they've been added to the article. And right here, if I go back up, there's the actual outline. So you can actually manually do it to pick a title. You can pick your own headings and you can actually use some of the writing um, that it provides. So if you actually want to use this paragraph, you can grab both the paragraph and, and the heading. All right, and then it has a brief here. These were the competitors that it pulled from. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the button here where it's gonna uh, create the outline for me. So at this point, what I like to do is I like to structure the, out the outline. So I, I'll use most of 
these headings here as you can see this is the h1 you can change um, the main title and then you have the h2s and you keep going down and this is the actual uh, outline that it created what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to read through each one and i'm, I'm going to kind of move them around to see uh, make sure that it flows a little bit better all right so i'll pause the video right here let me do that and that's the next step okay so i'm done with that what i did was i moved a couple of the headings around just so that it can flow a little bit better i wanted to start off by uh, why should you lean bulk what are the benefits so i put those at the beginning so right now, if we go back up here on the guidelines, as you can see, the uh, content score is now 43. Uh, on the words, we have 169 words. The headings, we have enough headings now, and we just got to write the, the actual article now. So what I like to do for uh, my articles is I use Jasper.ai. I also have other videos on how to use Jasper. But the cool part about Jasper it, is that it integrates with Surface SEO. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to uh, Jasper and I'm gonna go ahead and log into the documents, the long form editor, and I'm gonna go ahead and start from scratch. So basically right here, I have uh, a plain canvas where I can start. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna copy the, just so that we can start here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the, the outline and I'm gonna bring it over here to Jasper, so it's there. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, right up top here, they have SEO mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And I'm just doing this so I can show you how it integrates. And you go ahead and click the article that you want it uh, to use. So basically we brought over the lean bulk meal plan. And I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. All right, and as you can see, uh, once I refreshed, it brought over uh, all the information. So I have all the, the words here. So as I'm writing, I can actually see. So an example is if I went up here, why should I, uh, why should you lean bulk? I'm gonna go ahead and compose so that Jasper can create an out, uh, can create an output for that, um, that paragraph. And as you can see right here now, our word count, if I go ahead and refresh. It will change our word count. As you can see, uh, our content score went up to 53. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and write the content. And this is just the next step. Uh, I'm not actually um, concerned right now of adding all these words. I'm just going to go ahead and create the content so that I can get up to the 2,000 words. And then at that point, I will show you the next step. So let me go ahead and write the content and I'll be back in a second. So with the help of Jasper, I was e easily able to write the content for this article. So as you can see right now, my new content score is 75. So my current words, I have 2,072 words. I have 29 headings and I have 64 uh, paragraphs. So as you can see right now, uh, I have three of the four I have a check mark. The only thing is at the end, I'll put the images, but I just wanted to show you that right now I'm at 75 and here is the actual article. As you can see, it has plenty of content on it, but it's only still at 75. So once I write the content, my next step now is to go back and start reading it and start adding these um, uh, terms to use. So as you can see right here, uh, lean bulk meal plan. I've only used it three times. It wants me to use it anywhere from six to 18 times. Uh, fat gain, I have, I've used it twice. It wants five to 15. So what I'm gonna start, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start reading from the top. And what I like to do is I, I like to have these words right next to me. And as I start reading it, I can start incorporating these words or maybe change the sentence around a little bit so that uh, most of these words get added to the actual article. You don't have to add all of them. Um, you just wanna be able to get it to where it improves the actual overall content score. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do that next step and I'll show you the difference after. So stay so tuned. What I like to do next is um, when I add the terms, I like to go back into the actual Surfer SEO interface. Uh, now that I was done with Jasper, I went ahead and I came over here and I went ahead here, uh, as you can see, we are now up to 
80, the content score. So I went ahead and I started reading the article and I started adding these terms into the actual article. So one of the ways I like to do is I hit the adjust button here and it says highlight terms. And as you can see right here, it highlighted all the terms. So as I'm reading it, I can see if there's words here that I can add uh, to the actual article. And there's some that I that I added and then some that just didn't make sense. So as I, I went all the way down and added the different different terms. And of course, you want to try to add as many as possible, but there's some that you just can't. All right. So right here, this step right here, I went from 75 now to 80 yeah, just by adding some more of those terms. So the last step that I like to do as you can see right here, my word count is 2195. So it's asking anywhere from 2000 to 23. I got a plenty of headings. I got the correct paragraphs, amount of paragraphs. And the only thing left now is images. So, so there's two ways I'm, for this video. I'm going to go ahead and add the images here. Normally, I don't add the images until I'm already in my WordPress website. And I go ahead and add them there. But for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how the last step is to add the image. And this number should go up from here. So let me go ahead and, and do that now. And I'll be back in a second. I went ahead and added the images. So it requested for nine images. I currently have 10. So the content score went up to 90. So right now, uh, this is a really good score. The, on the actual competitors, the average score is 69 with the top one being 73. So if I actually went back over here to customize, you can see that right here on the under content score the main one has 67 71 64 71 so even though it's not 100 which 100 is very difficult to get but we're at 90 90 is a well optimized article here so as you can see right here all of the um, terms to use are highlighted i added the images so the last thing i like to do which is a pro tip here is once these are all highlighted I like to bold a lot of them. So basically that's going to show that these are important words to Google when it gets indexed. And that's the last and final step that I like to do. So as you can see right here, I went ahead with the, with the help of Surfer SEO, I was able to optimize this article. I was able to create the content using Jasper AI. And for these images, I went ahead and used Canva. So if you have any questions, do me a favor, please leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.